Hi, welcome to CFA Level 1 Quick Concepts and our today's topic right now is based on fixed income day count convention. Let's start with the video. So what is DCC or day count convention? Well, in the bond market, in the exams, it may be quite difficult for you to actually calculate the number of days between the two coupon dates or from the last coupon to the settlement date. And therefore, we have the DCC or day count conventions where it can actually vary in the practical life from market to market. The two most common day count conventions are actual over actual days and 30 by 360 days. The actual over actual days actually includes the weekends, holidays, leap days and perhaps all the days in the year. It is most commonly used for government bonds. On the other hand, 30 over 360 days assumes that each month has only 30 days with sums up to 360 days in a year. This is especially used in the case of corporate bonds. Now let's take up an example to understand how to solve day count convention in our calculator. Today it's June 27, 2015. A bond is issued earlier this year, pays coupon semi-annually on dates of 15th May and 15th November of each year. Calculate based on actual by actual and 30 over 360 days convention for the number of days between the two coupon dates and the number of days between the last coupon date and the settlement date. To solve in the calculator, we require the date function which you will get by pressing second and the date which is at one and then we will input the details and then go ahead by pressing the down arrow to get our answer. So what we need to find is the number of days between the two coupon dates which is on 15th May and 15th November and then we need to find the number of days from the last coupon to the settlement date. So first thing we are going to find is the number of days between the two coupon dates. So first I'll press second one that gives me the date one. In the date one we are going to put month that is May and the date is 15 and the year is also 15 and then press enter. So this is May 15, 2015. Then you press the down arrow key and now you press the second date which is November 15, 2015 that is 11.1515 and again press enter. Now when you press the down arrow key again it asks it gives you the days between the dates but we are not going to calculate before seeing the day count convention. So when you press the down arrow key it tells you ACT which is actual by actual. So when I go up by pressing the up arrow key and I press compute it gives me 184 days. These are the actual number of days between November 15, 2015 and the day before that, that is May 15, 2015. However, when I need to change the day count convention, I again press the down arrow key and now change it to 360 by pressing second enter. When I do this, the DCC convention has changed to 30 over 360. Now you press the up arrow key again and since it's going to take 30 days for 6 months, you'll get an answer of 180 when you press compute. So between the two coupon dates with the calculator function, what we get is 180 days for considering 30 over 360 DCC and 184 days, the actual days when you consider actual over actual. Now let's consider the next that is from coupon till the settlement date that is from 15th May 2015 till 27th June 2015 in our calculator. Now let's put the second date. So again let's press second first and the first date we have is May 15, 2015. Enter down arrow key. The second date we have is June 27, 2015 enter and again when you press down arrow key twice you get actual over actual so press the up arrow key 
and compute you get 43 as the actual days between the two dates now in order to check the 30 over 360 we press the down arrow key again change the mode from actual to 360 by pressing second enter correct now press the up arrow key and when you press compute you may see a minor change and when you press compute you get 42 days between may 15 and uh between 27 june so what we've got between the coupon and the settlement date of 27 june 2015 the actual over actual days were 43 whereas the 360 30 over 360 convention days were 42 so here's a quick revision of the strokes so first we calculated the days between the two coupon dates we put date one as may 15 2015 and november 15 2015 then if you want to change the mode from actual to 360 you press second enter and then when you press compute for actual you got 184 days for 30 over 360 you get 180 days similarly from the coupon to the settlement date that is 27 june 2015 the date one is same then when you go down arrow you get actual if you get actual it is 43 days you when you press compute when you want to change the mode to 30 over 360 you go down and press second enter change the mode press the up arrow key and then you get 42 days for 30 over 360 convention okay so i hope you found this video informative if yes do share it with your friends and colleagues who are doing cfa and do subscribe to our channel right now for more such videos in the future i'll be coming up with lots more concepts on cfa level one quick revision thank you and have a nice day